Hello everyone, uh, welcome back. Uh, this is Craig Howe, uh, episode 19, and art image number 10 from the art storybook. We've got a little clarification about the rulers we discussed in last episode. We're transferring the doodle to the worksheet for the next painting. And then we have a musical guest for the ending credits is George Huntley, all the way from Indiana. Uh, so here we go. Okay, first thing is image number 10 of the 48 from the art storybook, the doodle, the worksheet, and the finished painting. And I'll see you in a second. Bob? Hey, Bob. Hey, Bob. There you are. <laughs> okay, there you go. Uh, this one's circled in red. Uh, this is the one right here that I'm going to be using for, the, for painting number 10. Okay, folks, uh, this is the worksheet. And this is the finished painting. It's titled Yellow Rectangles. And here to tell you about our next segment, we have a, I consider a special guest. <laughs> My name is Oglethorpe Howe. I am Craig's twin brother. I am visiting for a week and he wanted me to help out. Uh, so I am announcing this recap of the ruler section from last episode to help clarify the architectural scale rulers. And now over to my brother, my twin brother, Craig. Thank you. Okay, I thank you, O. Great job. Uh, I call him O for short. Uh, what I've got is I've got a, a real close-up detail of the architectural scales. And I've got all three of them laid out so you can see all three sides. Uh, this is one inch equals an inch. Well, this is our regular ruler measurements here. This is 3 sixteenths equals an inch, 3 quarters equals an inch, 3 inches equals an inch, 1 eighth equals an inch, and a half equals an inch. And let me uh, take you all the way down to the other end. And this is 3 thirty seconds equals an inch, 3 eighths equals an inch, inch and a half equals an inch, quarter equals an inch, and one inch equals an inch. And the reason they have the one inch again, as opposed to the one inch up here, is that all these are divided into 12, whereas the inch is divided into the 16 inches. Just to clarify, when I was pointing out that the 3 eighths equals an inch, 3 quarters equals an inch, inch and a half equals an inch, that that is primarily used for me and, and me doing my artwork and my transfers. And when I said that it was divided, that three quarters equals an inch, and it's divided into twelves, because as a arc, for an architect or a draftsman, when we use these for blueprints, they were used primarily in feet. So, in that profession, that three quarters of an inch that I use for art is in reality three quarters of an inch equals a foot. And that's why it's divided into 12, that's 12 inches equals a foot. Okay? Now we're going to go back into the artwork. Okay, we left off last episode. Uh, I had scaled out the grid lines for my doodle they get ready to transfer to a full size sheet of paper. And that's what we're gonna do. The paper I normally transfer my doodles to is this particular paper right here. And I might catch a couple questions from artists uh, for the use of this particular paper. It's a Bristol Smooth Surface 400 series. It's it's 
it's a little on the expensive side, but it, it works for me really well. Uh, I'm very particular about this. It's nice paper. I get my lines, my drawings, uh, little if no smudging as I work my hands across the paper. When I erase, it doesn't tear at the fibers as much as it does on a lower grade paper. Uh, and it also doesn't smudge as much with the erasing as it does on a lower grade paper. So, one other thing, you're going to see a lot of little uh, cuts in the uh, filming. Uh, some speed up and slow downs. And a lot of it has to do with <clears throat> the fact that this part of the... Uh, Worksheet process normally takes me a few days, uh, a lot of long hours, to get it to the point where I'm ready to transfer it to the canvas. So I'm going to have to, that means that I have to condense about a lot of hours uh, into about three minutes of video uh, for you to see the process. Okay, it's in, my paper's a 9 by 12. My image or canvas is an 8 by 10. So, so it's a 9 inches. I'm coming in a half an inch on each side. You get me to my 8. Okay, it's 12 inches. I need 10, so I'm coming in an inch from each side. Okay, I'll put my one inch markers in. Okay, we're all set. What I do next is I start getting my uh, points of reference. Uh, just like the uh, turntable right here is, uh, this is an inch. I got it about maybe a quarter of an inch. I want it just a touch higher. So I've got the top right there. Uh, center point, I got it right at the four inches right there. So I can put that in and we'll make it about that wide. Uh, now I said about going upwards to uh, that I want to take him up a little bit higher. So this collar I might make it seven and a half. And it's about three and a quarter inches in. So this collar is going to be about right there. And then from there, I just pick more points of reference. Uh, this is at about three and a half and about uh, two in. Three and a half and about two, two in. So what I can do, so I'm just going to sketch in a little bit of things now, speed this up a little bit.
And with that half inch up, I'm moving these sleeves up a little bit. That's about three and a half, so I'm moving it up to about four, which is up here. And again, once I get these initial lines in, then I go back and look, and then I make all these adjustments. I'll change things again. I just want to get something in that I can work with. These preliminary. And I don't want to put too much shading in on this. Uh, I, I'm just doing this mostly so you can see it, but I normally don't do a lot of shading, at least just not yet, because even, even though this is a good paper, this rubbing, you know, going back and forth will smear some of this. So I like to minimize my shading as I go forward. Okay, I'm going to stop right here. Uh, I'm going to look at this a bit, and then I'll come back, and then I'll make some more changes to it. Uh, I just want to look at it from a distance, uh, just to start getting figuring out proportions and everything. Okay, uh, that's it for this episode. Uh, we saw painting number 10 of the 48. Next episode is number 11. Uh, I also want to thank my twin brother, Oglethorpe, for stopping by. Uh, he's not a bad guy. He's, he's, he's pretty nice. I like him. Uh, and uh, I, hopefully I clarified the uh, scale ruler a little bit more. And uh, I hope that I quelled any artist uproar <laughs> over the type of costly paper that I use for worksheets. Uh, we got the doodle transferred to the worksheet. Uh, that was about 30 minutes of pencil work that was condensed into about eight or nine minutes with the editing program. Uh, still got a ways to go with finalizing the design and then getting it over the canvas. Uh, if we have enough time, uh, also got another fictitious letter in the mail that uh, with a question. And... Uh, Ending credits uh, is musical guest uh, George Huntley. Nice, nice music. So with that, uh, be good, take care, and uh, see you next episode. Bye.